Hello, in this video, what we'll do is we will take an image and we'll try to add caption to it, like try to find captions, right? And also extract that what are the objects that are present in that image. So this is one of the exercise and tagging images, right? And object detection. So these three things we'll do with the help of AI. Okay, and what we have to do is as we are continuing the exercise, so let's begin. Hello, my name is Gaurav and this is my channel, Ujjial, which means share, it's a Polish word and I'm covering a series where I'm telling about cloud and AI. In this video, we'll talk about the theory part of it that we can use Azure AI service, which has pre-built things like vision, speech and a open AI. So we'll make use of the vision that will give an image to the system and we'll ask it to add some tags to it and this is the image from my nanital trip this is an any lake which is coming in between the light is not so good on my face but let's see that how what tags uh, ai gives to this picture and what objects it detects in it so let's see so the first step they have told is to create an Azure AI resource. So every time like we do any exercise, we have to create a resource. So I'll go to portal.azure.com and I'll try to search for Azure AI services. Right. So I don't have a resource. If you see here, there is uh, no resource that is there inside this, right? But there are various things that they have provided here under Azure AI services, example, AI search, face API, computer vision, custom vision, right? So we'll try to make use of this computer vision, but we'll create a Azure AI service resource. So what we'll do is we'll click, click on this and create a resource and search for Azure AI services. You will get this and let's create a resource with the name of Azure AI services. Okay, it will ask for a resource group. I can select an existing one or you can create a new one. If you haven't created an account yet on my channel, there is a video where I have shown you can do that free of cost. Okay, let's name it Azure AI services. And I'll add it 900. This is, I'll select a standard tier. Okay, I acknowledge this. Review and create. So every time we create a resource, it does the deployment and it would be ready soon, right? If you see here, deployment is initiated and once it's complete, all the notification comes in this icon called as notification. If I click on this, it will show that it's getting created. So yeah, it's done. And now we will go to deployment is in progress. Once this is done, we'll go to the resource group so since deployment is succeeded we'll go to the resource and here you can see the technical details of it like whatever name i gave it added this cognitive service so this is a unique thing uh, that i can do now what we'll do is we'll use vision right we want to use computer vision we can click and on go to documentation to understand it better but uh, for now we will go to the studio which will help us uh, writing the code in an easier way okay so we are done with the first part of it create an azure ai resource right then we have to go to the vision studio which is a no code solution okay let me go there portal.vision.cognitive.azure.com okay now we want to add caption to our images right so there are various things that are coming i'll select here try it out Okay, it has given some sample images to try that what all things are there. But to check how it works, let's try a custom image. So I have added a custom image. So let's see that what attributes it can add. I would don't want to try a man standing on a mountain view with arms outstretched. So if you see that it has uh, found it in a right way. Right, and I have not signed in here, right? So even you can some try sometime try it without signing in as well. Okay, I have added caption to the image now. Detect common objects in the image. Let me give the file again.
okay it's asking me to select a resource i can select the resource please acknowledge the above okay let me acknowledge this and let's see so it's able to detect that there is a person it, it's not able to detect that there is a person behind as well but here and we can see that only suggested objects if the probability is above the selected threshold so i can change this threshold and i can uh, try things right and i have a json also which tells it's a person and it's confident that 92% chances it's a person okay let me take an image from rtp okay that was rave test party and let's see if it's able to detect what it has detected so there are four persons and if you see it's able to detect mukesh navin sanjay and me when we met last time in this and let me try to give a complex image or a different kind of image so this image it's like some contest so there is two person it's not able to recognize this so yeah it's not 100% right but it's like because this image is like the face is very not very clear so we can understand that part and now let's try to do something else as well that extract text from image right so that's also a common scenario that we have right that we want to extract text from an image okay so this was a meme that i created i think so let's see that okay so it's able to detect each and every word from it right and we can try even some handwritten things as well so this is a already pre built model which can uh, retrieve things right remove background from images let's try this as well so there are various things that are pre built and you can use this right without writing any code if you want to write code you can even uh, do that as well right there are various options to try you can zoom in zoom out right let's wait for it that whether it's able to remove the background from this image or not so they have trained their model with a lot of data so that it can do these things easily right you can even create your own app or use their apis right this is how it would be used in the real time applications right you might not come to remove background here right let's wait for it so if you see it has removed the background and taken me out and i think because of this shadow uh, it's not very uh, complete right but it's good that it can do so many things and let me search for some tagging and all like let's see what are the other option extract common tags from the images okay let's see what are the tags that it can take out from the same image okay it's outdoor footwear sky clothing right so hiking right person there there is no woman this was a man i know i don't see any woman in this so standing mountain so some keywords that it has extracted from this which you can use to make out some app out of it right so hope you like it and you want to try it then please uh, follow the series and you can create an account here and hope you like it thank you for watching